Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Poznanski's Beer Reviews. Today's review is going to be another re-review. This beer that we're reviewing is uh, Blue Moon White IPA. And the reason why I did that, I said ooh, is because I see a bunch of floating shit. So, I guess it is. It's very, un very unfiltered. You can see, I don't know if you can see it in the light. Uh, let's, let's see if I can do this here. I'll show you once it goes in the bottle, but very unfiltered. They got the date on the bottle, November 21st, 2016. Enough of these uh, no dated or past dated, but I just can't. I can't, I don't like the taste of a overdated IPA. This is the Blue Moon White IPA. I reviewed this, uh... I think a few months ago and I didn't like it but let's give it another shot I'll show you how unfiltered this is in a second Well, it looked more unfiltered in the bottle, to be honest, but it's uh, it's very cloudy. Yeah, actually, you can see some particles, a lot of carbonation. Um, Rate Beer gives us a 39 overall and a 12 in the style. Beer Advocate gives it a 79 overall. Uh, it's, I believe, 5.9% alcohol by volume. Yep. Um, Year-round serving. Ingredients are wheat and oats, which are the malts. Um, I'm surprised that's the only ingredients, but hops, Simcoe, Cascade, Citra. Uh, they use Hill Melon hops from Germany. IBUs are 45, kind of low for an IPA, but it is a white IPA, so. That's all there's to talk about over here. Commercial description, Blue Moon White IPA is crafted with four varieties of hops, wheat, coriander, and a hint of orange peel for a balanced taste with bright hop aromas. Alright, let's go with the smell. Um, you get that coriander. You get some of that Belgian, you can almost taste the, smell a little Belgian yeast. Some citrus notes, maybe a little clove. I've only had one other, other than this before. I've had one other white IPA, and it was Saranac, and I loved it. The white IPA, a little hint of grapefruit, tangerine-like color. Different than the smell, I'll tell you that. It starts with a mixture of some malt and light hop characteristics. For finishing bitterness, pretty high. Mouthfeel is medium bodied. You know, I remember giving it a bad rating and I kinda I'm kinda leaning that way. It just maybe a little bit of citrus on the on the front. Me going into some of that bittering hops. I apologize for my neighbors. Nice lacing on the glass, though. I like that. has a weird flavor in the beginning too that I'm trying to I think it's from the malt but it's just wheat 
It's very sweet. I don't know, man. I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan. I thought I'd give it another shot, cause uh, I have been. Sometimes I am a little biased towards Blue Moon, cause they're part of the Chorus family. But um, I'm trying not to. But it's just not. It's not what I like for a white IPA. That Saranac white IPA I really did like. It tasted good. It tasted hoppy, and it had that creamy. A creamy. Uh, Belgian Belgian ale flavor with it. This doesn't this just, just doesn't taste what I would think a Belgian a, a Belgian white IPA should taste like. Um it's also bitter. But it's not necessarily a good bitter. I'll give it a four. I mean, it's not awful, but it's not something I really want to drink again. Anyway, that's it for this review, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time on Post Nasky's Beer Reviews. Bye.